In Sudan, where temperatures can reach 45 degrees Celsius in the shade, the sap of the acacia tree is harvested by hand. This sap, known as gamarabic, is so useful it forms the foundation of hundreds of consumer products, from glassy magazines to fruit juice and soda and chewing gum. Pharmaceutical companies around the world turn the sap into medicines that save human lives. Sudan is the world's largest producer of gamarabic. In 2012, its exports reached 50,000 metric tons, or 70% of the world's supply, boosting the country's GDP and earning incomes for local farmers. Up until recently, conflict, instability and weak institutions marred this centuries-old industry. Producer incomes were low and their taxes were high as a result of market practices that were not in their favour. In July 2009, the government of Sudan, alongside the World Bank, launched an initiative to reform the country's gamarabic industry. The aim of this project is to increase the income of small-scale gamarabic producers and help the government break its own monopoly so that exporters of gamarabic compete fairly for the product in an open market. Now there are 61 companies exporting gamarabic to markets across the globe, as opposed to just one government-owned company before the project. Just this one policy reform measure has greatly influenced the industry. The gum Arabic trade has been under monopoly, and with the, uh, with the assistance of the, of the bank providing these studies, we managed, for example, to find our way to help the small producers and to increase our uh, production and, uh, and export. Samal Arabi was a tool for the government to deal with it in the past. It was only for the company of Samal Arabi to deal with the Samal Arabi. But from the past four years or five years, there was a reduction of the Samal Arabi and it became a free company and it was able to deal with the companies and the companies to deal with it. And it was a great opportunity for the world and it became a new opportunity. Through the project, small-scale producers have formed their own Gamarabic producer associations to protect their interests and increase their selling power. These associations are able to store surplus stock till they see higher prices. Working together, they're also able to invest in community projects like water reservoirs that improve the quality of life for everyone in the village. <laughs> من الجمعية والعيشة الحمد لله رب العالمين برضو كمان يعني يفتحنا شوية من زمان كنا نشتغل للناس بس بقينا يعني نشتغل من حق الجمعية. Nearly 12,000 people in five states in Sudan have benefited from the project. The government of Sudan hopes to scale up this work, helping local gamarabic producers in 13 other states, including Darfur, by 2017.